okay so this is how the hair looks um it did come with the extra long bonnet and then the crochet needle and in this little pack here i guess it just has like detailed information about what the hair is the hair company here's the hair company line yx cherish i guess cherish okay i am gonna say one thing about the hair the hair does smell funny um it smells like it's just like classic and manufacturing i don't know so i tested out one strand like a piece of the strand um in the apple cider and water uh vinegar rinse um so i just like dipped it in there and let it sit in there for a little bit and then I'm going to actually follow up with the conditioner, like a, a co-wash, because it just smells funny to me. So I'm actually going to dip this whole bundle here in this. And then I'm going to use the As I Am Pomegranate and Passion Fruit Grow Wash, just because it smells good. And to get that, uh, you know how synthetic hair kind of has that shiny look? but make sure that it's not hard and brittle. So I'm just uh, uh, kind of do the same thing, put some hot water, put a little bit of that conditioner, swirl it around, and then see if it's better then. So I'm a, I'm a, I'll be back. Okay, this is just me dipping it in the apple cider vinegar in the water. Let it sit in there for a little few minutes, and then I'm take it out and just lay it across here, rinse the hair through, and then put more hot water in this bowl and the conditioner. Okay, this is the As I Am Long and Looks Pomegranate and Passion Fruit um, Grow Wash in some water. And I did put like a little bit of uh, coconut oil in here too. Um, just so I can help with the softness. Make sure that the hair stays soft. So I'm just going to sit these in here. And I probably will leave them in here for about... I don't know, probably while I'm just in this meeting I'm about to attend for maybe like an hour and a half. Um, or you can leave it in there for however long you want. If you don't have that much time, you probably don't need that much time. I'm just gonna soak it in here and see if it helps with that smell because it just really is okay. Uh, you also can do this with a silicon mix conditioner, it's super cheap and it really helps with like synthetic hair weaves, um, even human hair wigs, whatever, um, to help bring back like that softness. Sometimes, you know, your wig or whatever, your fake hair gets all crusty and dusty. That conditioner also can help. But you can use any conditioner you have at home. Not even just a co-wash, just regular conditioner. I just like the way this co-wash smells. That's the only reason why I'm using this one um, instead of my regular conditioner. So, this will cleanse the hair and condition it. Um, and so, you don't want to disturb the curls too much. So, that's why I'm not really, like, running my fingers through it or anything like that. You just want to kind of, like, go up and down with the with this kind of hair because the curl pattern you know you want it to stay the way it is so i'm just gonna let that sit in there for a while and then once it dries i'll let y'all know how it looks once it dries okay i forgot to do a video of me installing it right after i got done but this is me about to take it out so i did have to cut it some because it started getting nappy after like two weeks so i had to cut a little bit trim it up get those knot knots and mats out what you can do to prevent that what i started doing like week number two was putting some foam mousse on there and put it in two two strand twists um and then tying it up um, in a ponytail we'll put a ponytail holder on the ends and tying it down like that so it doesn't um get matted and tangled up so this is me about to cut it out um, this hair probably only lasted to me in a good, for me, I'm going to say for me, two weeks tops. Um, that second week I was like, oh, this got to go. Cause it, it was just irking, but it's, some people thought it still looked good. I probably could have left it in, but nah, nah, it was time for this stuff to come on out. So this is me taking it down and I'm going to show you like how I process, how the process of taking it down went or goes for me. So boom, I'm taking my braids down. I braid my hair when I do a crochet style like this uh, in a squiggle snake pattern in the back. So I don't have to worry about braiding all those little braids if I braided them straight down all up together. So I braid it down like this and I sew the one end of the braid up to itself somewhere at the top. Wherever the braid ends, I'll just pull it up and braid it and, you know, sew it down. So as I take each section down, I detangle as I go. 
finger detangle. Then I take a wide tooth comb and detangle it before I wash it so that I don't have a bunch of matting and knots and blah, blah, blah. Because if you try to detangle all at one time, it is going to be harder on you and harder on your hair to actually get through the the knots because you haven't combed in a while. Here is my hair all the way uh, unbraided and detangled as best I could. I'm just describing how I kind of braided my hair down. Um, and you can braid your hair in whatever pattern you like and whatever pattern you typically use or do. So it doesn't really matter as long as, you know, you have a part wherever you want to have that part in the front. I like my part in the middle. So that's why I braided it the way I braided it. So some additional deets on the hair. The hair came with seven bundles um, in a pack. And here I had one full bundle left. I had a little bit um, left over from the six pack of hair. And I used that to like... Uh, maybe like the beginning of the second week, I cut some of the hair out in the front because it was really matted in the front. And I just put the new hair in, like some of the uh, hair that I had left over. I used that this bundle right here and I had this amount of hair left out of the six bundles. So if you want it real full, you probably gonna need to use all seven packs. But if you want it like kind of like the thickness of that I had, then you, you're not gonna need to use the whole thing. And you can use that hair to refresh like the top or the back or whatever part gets uh, the most matted depending on how you sleep and how you tie it down. Um, but that's pretty much it for this hair. I will put the link for the per for where I purchased it from in the description box. I did get it from Amazon. So you can go straight to Amazon and purchase it if you like to. Um, here I'm just describing how I twisted the hair up that I was talking about in the beginning. And put a silk ponytail holder on the ends so I could tie it down and then not be as matted in the morning. I should have did that from the beginning. It probably would have lasted longer. But that's something that you all can do if you ever have the kind of loose hair, um, as far as crochet hair goes, to keep it up at night. Um, and that's how I pretty much maintained it after I realized, like, this is not working. It's getting too nappy. So I also use this mousse on it, the Nairobi setting lotion. You could probably use any setting lotion you have. That's just what I always have in my house or um, that I always use um, on synthetic hair, unless I'm using it for my own hair to like do a raw set. So that's like my favorite setting lotion to use. If you have any other brand, I'm pretty sure it'll work just fine. So you do not have to have the Nairobi setting lotion um, on for this particular hair. That's just what I had. Um, here I'm just talking about how I kind of had to shear some of that hair off that was kind of getting nappy and matted and I ended up cutting it a little bit shorter so I can get some of those dead ends off that was super tangled and matted. Um, and you can play around with that and create a new shape or a new um, style by cutting it shorter as you go. That will also help extend the length of you being able to keep the style in. For me, I'm probably never going to have my hair in a crochet style like that with loose hair more than three weeks at a time just because I feel like I need to wash it and I, my hair like craves water. So I'm, I'm always like, oh, I need some water on my hair. And I can't really do that with crochet styles. This style is very cheap, so you don't feel like you're wasting your money if you have to take it down two weeks, three weeks tops. But other than that, yeah, I'll probably do use that hair again or I'll probably put that same brand in maybe a different curl pattern whatever it was cute and it was fun and it was super super easy so let me know if you ever used this hair before or whatever your favorite brand of crochet style hair is um tell pookie almost i said what's up share like subscribe peace